Hey guys, uh, greetings, how goes it? Hope all is well with you in your part of the world. Uh, welcome of course back as always to the uh, Time Bomb channel. Thanks as always for your time and for your view. So I've been lent a few uh, watches recently and they've come in this this uh, rather uh, splendid looking box. Um, it's, it's almost like a, 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 you know, the kind of box you might see uh, James Bond uh, wandering around with. But yeah, anyway, that is of course until they decided to kill him off. I can't say I'm as I'm as uh, half as motivated as I was previously to watch any future James Bond movies, but um, anyway, that's them just giving in to the woke brigade rather than actually reading any of the damn books. But uh, let's move back to the watch box. So when I saw this one, I kind of had to think about the ones that I use, and I was thinking, what 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 is it that you guys are using to keep your watches in? And I'll just look, just run through this one because it was quite impressive. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a case of uh, show and tell, or I show you mine if you show me yours. So this fine box then, um, as you can see here, let's just give you a little 360 of it, a little rubber feet on the bottom there as well, um, is an AliExpress uh, purchase. And I think the owner paid for around 20 bucks, 20 pounds uh, for this ship to uh, the UK. It strikes me as being jolly robust. Um, it's not too heavy other than because of what's actually inside. Um, it is then lockable. Um, I don't know how um, you know robust those locks are, and how much it's actually going to really going to you know anybody with half a crowbar is going to be able to rip those off. But anyway, it gives a notion of um, of of security. And uh, yeah, so essentially, I think one of the key attributes of this is uh, it stores bucket loads of watches. So let's crack it open. And uh, voila, there we go. So. It actually stores 24 of the little beauties, uh, to be exact. So uh, up top, uh, then we've just got uh, sections here, obviously then for storing your additional strappage, or alternatively a little uh, dusting cloths, etc. Um, but yeah, fine array, um, uh, you know, three by eight. And I was going to suggest this probably more of an ideal option uh, for the collector who who prefers the smaller watch. Um, as you can see, let's just let's just pull one off. Um, we've got the old boat, the Russian one here. Essentially, what you've got is just then like a little cutout slot in in that foam, and then one of these uh, sort of semi basic uh, little rings uh, to hold these on. It, entirely fit for purpose. Uh, but as I say, I think the largest watch we've probably got in here, maybe, you know, is around the Olach and uh, Weiss here, uh, up the back there. Um, but yeah, it's, I, th I think, yeah, it, it, it really, really does work for me. Um, I think just when you pop it open like that, <laughs> you can see your whole collection of watches in here. I mean, just brilliant fun, brilliant fun indeed. Um, I think as well, the other aspect that I like about it is it's quite slim, um, you know, so you can shove this into a bookshelf, um, you know, obviously very, you know, it's not heavy or difficult to carry around and very easy just to, to whip out and impress your mates. And then as we're doing the show and tell, I thought, well, let's have a, let's have a little look at the ones that I've been using recently. Um, this particular one, um, I think I've got two of these now is uh it's called a la royale classico xl and yeah that's not the royale with cheese um and whilst this is uh faux leather um i'm really not that fussed at all i think it did come with a key but i've got no idea where that is but i think you could pick that pretty easily um yeah there's the branding on the back there uh, la royale it does also then come with that foamy uh base you know which stops it slipping around um rationale for choosing it um is that let's just pop it open are, are twofold one that you have because it's an excel you've got very chunky cushions in here which mean you can uh include your larger watches um the space the space in there he says shoving that one back in the space in there for your bigger watches uh, g-shock frogman for reference obviously the mudmaster there give you an idea of size and space um, but lastly, also because there's there's glass up top, so when it's sat on a window shelf, uh, the solars at the top here are are still getting uh, you know adequate charge, um, which is which is you know again ticks my boxes. Um, I've had it for a while now, uh, which is why I bought a second one uh, to store additional watches in. It really really works for me. I'm not quite sure what would happen if I ever had to uh, replace this semi glass in here. Um, but today I'm, I'm happy with it um, and it does a good job of uh, 
displaying the watches as well as uh, as well as looking after them. One other storage option that I use, uh, um, I've got picked up one of these little things. It's um, from the brand Aquilo. Um, it was on Amazon. I think it was about five pound because it was a it was a nearly new. And again, the other reason why I like it is because it, you know, it says there we go. You, you can throw it in that side if you want to. It fits the large, the deeper watches as well, quite comfortably. Um, and again, that hard casing, I think it, it works quite well for me. Um, I've already put it to the test because uh, I had a watch in this, sat on it when I got in the car, and um, the watch was fine, and um, the casing doesn't seem to have been distorted too much by my oversized butt. Um, though I think, you know, when you start looking at these things, there's oodles and oodles of options out there, uh, you know, for, for watch cases, watch storage. If you guys have got a favorite, then please do drop a comment down below because I'm often getting asked, uh, for suggestions of what works and what doesn't work. And of course, I always trust people who actually use these things, um, on a regular daily basis, much more than a paid reviewer who's trying to flog us something. Um, and then, yeah, there was one other question I wanted to ask. Lastly, uh, do, do you use watch winders? I've often toyed with the idea of them. I really like the, the aesthetics of some of the ones that you can get. Um, they just look absolutely stunning. But of course, then I do worry about damaging the movements, you know, with overuse of these things. Um, not only that, we have a very small house, so we've got nowhere to put one. So that's probably better for me and my, my bank balance. Anyway, guys, as always, if you've got any um, recommendations, suggestions, uh, it would be great to hear your thoughts. Drop us a comment down below. And, of course, until the next vid, this is your host, Bombardier, signing off. Cheers, guys. Uh -huh.